we're going to create a simple nut and bolt uh, in Fusion 360 as a nice uh, introductory idea. You can see a picture of the nut and bolt that I've designed earlier on the screen. That is an M3 screw uh, with a nut on it. Uh, and our learning intentions will be to understand the workflow and user interface of Fusion 360, or to begin to at least anyway, to do some basic sketch and modeling techniques. We're going to add threads to our 3D models, and we're going to export for 3D printing. Now, the particular screw that we're looking at there is an M3 screw. That means that it will go through a three millimeter hole, um, and that is too small for us to be able to print. Uh, typically, if we are 3D printing screw threads, we go for an M8, an M10, or an M12. Uh, those are the ones I've had the most um, success with printing, those three sizes, which gives you a good amount of range. And with a 3D printed thing anyway, it's actually a little bit weaker than you'd want it to be. So it's a good uh, way of keeping uh, things together that aren't totally very strong, but it's a good uh, understanding to be able to draw a thread or a nut and bolt uh, in Fusion 360. So without further ado, let's get into so here I am in Fusion 360, and I've got a number of tools uh, available to you here. Yours might look a little bit different. I've played around with mine and they're how I like them to be. So we've got, for example, this button here that will pull down. And if you can't see one of these icons in this section, they're going to be down here in this menu here. And if you want to move them up, you can press on that little button there and you can pin it to the toolbar. Uh, that's what I've done. Uh, so we're looking at our panel here. Uh, I'm assuming you've never used Fusion 360 before, but the way this works is the workflow is we draw a sketch by creating a sketch. We select our surface or our plane that we want to draw our sketch on by highlighting it. It can be a plane, which is the orange area, or a surface of a shape that we've already drawn that must be flat. So any flat surface we can draw on. And I'm going to draw just a really quick uh, rectangle here. I'm not going to put any dimensions on it, but I could. Once I've finished that sketch, I can then use the extrude tool to make that 3D by dragging it up or typing in the exact dimensions. And now I've got a shape that I can work with and I can draw extra shapes on top of that. So I'm going to draw on this one here. And this time I'm just going to draw something rather random like that. And as long as it's a closed shape like that, that's now closed shape. Uh, I can finish that sketch and I can extrude that up further as an example and press OK. And then I can continue to draw on here. For example, I'm going to draw through there. This time I'm going to draw a circle and the circle is just going to go into there like so. It's going to be a five millimeter circle. Once I finish that sketch, if I push that through as opposed to pulling that out, so I could pull it out and make it stick out like a tank gun, or I can push it through and it will drill a hole through. You can see it's gone red and it's going to cut that out. And now I've got a hole. And if I move this around, you can see there's a hole through there and I've got a 3D shape drawn. I could then print that 3D shape out if I wanted to, or I could use that uh, for a number of other purposes. For example, I could send that to a 3D mill and cut that out of metal, uh, but I'm not going to do that with this particular shape. I'm going to press undo and undo, and undo, and undo, and undo, until it's all gone. And we're going to start with a blank project, and we're going to create a nut and bolt. So I'm going to create a sketch here. Uh, I'm going to create my sketch. Just going to go to the home button so I can see the right sort of angles that we're looking at there. Uh, I'm going to use the top view to actually look down on the, the thing I'm drawing. And the first thing I'm going to draw, most nuts use a... Um, a hexagonal head. So I'm going to draw using a circumscribed polygon. Uh, and the default setting is six sides. I'm going to go from the middle and I'm going to go out and I'm going to make an M10 screw. So I'm going to go out um, and make the head of my nut uh, a little bit bigger than it probably should be. Uh, I'm going to make it, um, let's go 18. Oh no, we'll go 20. So I'm going to go 20 wide. And that's the size of my nut or, or uh, screw head or bolt head. So I'm going to finish that sketch now. 
and I'm going to go to the home view and that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to extrude that out. So it's going to be a, a head and I'm going to make that, let's just make that a nice eight millimeters and press on okay. So that's going to be the head of my bolt uh, and I'll make the same size head for my nut. But I'm going to draw the rest of my bolt now and you know that a bolt has a head and it has a cylindrical part coming out of the middle. So I'm going to draw a circle for the cylindrical part there. And this is going to be an M10. So uh, I'm going to make it 10 millimeters. You can see it's going to be a really large head on there. And it's going to then extrude out. So I'm going to finish that sketch. And I'm going to extrude that out. Let's just say uh, we'll go out 25 millimeters. And that is going to be the head of my nut. Now I'm not really happy with that. So what I can do is I can go back in time down here to my first sketch. I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to change that dimension there. I'm going to change that back down to, I'm going to make it 12 and I'm going to finish that sketch. And that's a, a much better looking uh, uh, bolt. So that is my bolt. I now need a nut as well. The nut is going to draw a sketch. I'm going to draw it on the same plane, uh, that one there, that I drew uh, my other thing. This time I've drawn it upside down, but that's fine. I'm going to draw this over here so that's not touching. And remember that was, uh, what did I say, 12? Uh, I'll bring it out so it locks the same over here. And I'm going to press Enter. And now that I've got that, I'm going to finish that sketch. Press my Home button up here. And I'm going to extrude that up. The same. In fact, I might go a bit bigger than this one. I might go to 10 mil on this one. So it's going to be a slightly bigger thing. And for my nut, I'm going to create this time a hole in the middle of that. So I'm going to create a sketch, finish sketch. I'm going to draw my sketch on there. And I don't have a center point to draw it on. So I can't lock it to the center. So I'm going to draw it here and it won't lock to the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a special line that line type is going to be a construction line. I'm going to go from the midpoint there. Why won't it choose midpoint from that? I'm going to P, uh, cancel. Something's bad going wrong here. So I'm going to use um, the tool up here that is going to be called project include, project. And I'm going to project this whole shape and go okay. Now that I've got those lines on there, I can then press on the line tool and make sure that the line tool is on construction. And I can go from a midpoint here, and you see the little triangle that pops up? That's the midpoint tool from there to there. And then I can use the midpoint constraint on this one here to this one here uh, to set that up. And then I'm going to use the sketch dimensions to add the dimension here, which I didn't do before, of 10 millimeters. And I'm going to hit finish sketch. Sorry, that was a bit confusing, but now I'm going to extrude and I'm just going to pull that down, back down through uh, my nut. So I've now got a bolt and I've got a nut, um, and, but I don't have a thread on those. So looking at the sketches here, the reason why I had trouble is I accidentally did a second sketch and I drew a sketch on a sketch. That's a bad thing. You need to manage your sketch as well. So I've now got a nut and a bolt, but I don't have the threads on them. That's a simple matter now. I'll go and create and thread and I'm going to click on that part of my cylinder now and it's going to put the thread on there so you can see that the thread is set you can see it's a full length thread if I choose not to have a full length thread I can actually move it up and down I'm going to go 19 mils down the other thing I need to do you know it's an M10 and it's a 6G which is fine I'm going to go modeled that's now going to model that into that if you don't have it like that, it's just going to be for appearances only, um, which is sometimes what you want. And I'm going to press on OK. So now I've got my thread goes all the way down to there, but I don't have a thread inside here. I often forget to put threads inside uh, my bolts. So there's a thread there. It's going to be an M10. It's going to be modeled like so and press on OK. So I now have a nut and a bolt. Before I go too much further, I'm going to do 
something else I'm going to click on here and I'm going to create a sketch I'm going to use the create and I'm going to use the text tool and I'm going to draw out an area in here and I'm going to put uh, in the text I'm going to just put my initials uh, TC uh, and I'm going to play around with the size until I'm happy with it um, but uh, whoops create I don't know what happened then text draw out an area and click there as well to accept it my initials are TC this way I know it's yours um, and now that I've got that I'm going to press on OK uh, and now that I'm in the sketch I can just drag that around to where I'm happy you see it's sort of locked in there so that's good I'm going to go finish sketch and then I'm going to extrude that negative one millimeters so it's just going to do a little cut and put my name in it and then I'm going to put a sketch in here as well on the side this time uh, and I'm going to go create and I'm going to go text and I'm going to put text in there click click and it's going to be T this time I have to go smaller I'll make it eight millimeters and I might even try TC see if that fits I might go to 7.5 Go as big as you can, that should fit. And press OK. You should be able to drag that round now. There you go. So it's on that whole surface. Double click into there if you want to actually edit it again. It's going to go 7 mils. 7.5 is not quite there. Press OK. Drag that around until I'm happy with it. Press on Finish Sketch. And I'm just going to push that in once again by negative 1 millimeters just to cut that out so that I know that that's mine when I print it. So that's going to work. Uh, I'm going to print those out for you and you should have a uh, nut and a bolt with your own initials on them. Uh, then you can get it ready for sending to the 3D printer. Before we do that, we need to save it. Let's just hit save. It's going to ask you what project location you're going to put it in. Uh, you can put it in whatever location you want or you can create a new folder. I'm just going to call this my M10 nut and bolt and press on save so now I have that saved I can now go into utilities and go make and I'm gonna make both of them as long as they're not too far away if they're too far away I want to make them one at a time I'm gonna make both of them and I'm gonna uncheck this box here I'm gonna make it high or medium medium will be fine and I'm gonna press OK and that's gonna open up uh, I have a place on the desktop top where I'm going to save this M10 nut and bolt v1 and hit save uh, that is the file you'll need to submit uh, for 3d printing uh, so that you can um, have that printed out and see how it works it should work relatively well um, in order to just be able to create a simple nut and bolt